Yep, Niagara Falls. Good morning everybody, welcome to the vlog. That's right, we are in Niagara Falls. We had never been, and we've been talking about going for a long time, so we decided to make the trip, and this is our secret location. So today is just gonna be about adventuring. We're heading down to the falls now. Look at that, it's so crazy. So we're heading down there now, and then we're going on a wine tasting tour because Lori likes the wine. <laughs> And we're just gonna have an awesome adventure today. All right, so a little quirk about me is that I'm really afraid of water, I'm afraid of bridges, and I'm afraid, afraid of everything. <laughs> except things that can kill me. <laughs> I'm deadly animal. And I'm actually afraid of waterfalls. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> My heart rate is actually up. I mean, as cool as this is, and it is absolutely epic, uh, it's scary to me. So, we are uh, coming up on the falls in a minute. Will I live? Oh, there's the American Falls over there. See, there's the American Falls. Oh, okay. What is the significance of the big chipmunk? Is that the, uh, it is really cute. the official mascot of the waterfalls? I don't know, but he's cute. Okay, let's go. Him. Let's go see the falls. So we have so we have 30 minutes to get back to our hotel for the wine tour, uh, and we're probably an hour back and forth. So uh, we may be late. We'll, we'll see what happens. One of the craziest things about this is how close you actually get to the falls. I mean, until you're actually here, you have no idea how insane it is. I mean. This is how close you get, guys. Right here. Oh, oh, oh. Is that crazy, Laura, or what? It's really cool. Oh! My gosh! That is freaking insane. I oh, could just throw you right there. You could literally, <laughs> she could literally just throw me over this. Look at, I just step over this, and you'd be in the water. Woo! I tell you what, my heart rate's going up right now. Oh, this is a, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Look at that. Oh, is that crazy? Throw you in the barrel right here. And then there you go, right over. <laughs> <laughs> She'd like to throw me in a barrel over the falls. Oh my gosh, is that crazy? Look at, danger, Lori. Danger. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. All right guys, all you would have to do is literally jump over this rail and you'd be having the ride of your life. Do you think I should throw Lori over? Comment down below if I should throw Lori over quick. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> This is the Horseshoe Falls right behind us here. And then over there, you see that's the way off in the distance right over there. That would be the what they call the American Falls. But uh, so what do you think, Laura? I mean, is, this, is it more impressive than you expected? Yeah, it's really cool. It's crazy. So, all right, let's go uh, do some wine tasting. <laughs> first winery. Lori is excited. Right. Yes, I am. The good news is it's, uh, it's almost noon, so. <laughs> All right, so the first winery, listen, I don't really drink, so I'm taking like the smallest sip of a drink and then pouring the rest out. Lori is drinking and the guy just told us that because we're going to four wineries and tasting three or four wines per, even the one ounce is equivalent to drinking a bottle and a half of wines. <laughs> so Lori will be drinking about a bottle and a half of wine today. I think you've had about enough. 
Well, I th I think you're wrong, you increasingly attractive looking woman. I'll probably drink like maybe a half a glass with my one sip because I just, I don't like drinking. I'm not into that feeling whatsoever. But these places are really cool and there's always a really great time. Look at how awesome this place looks, you know? So uh, just, we'll have a great time, but Lori's probably gonna get drunk. Put in some hot sauce <laughs> in line. <yeah. laughs> Oh my god, that's so weird. That'd be interesting. Here we go. Yeah. Wow, that's bizarre. I know, what the heck? That's crazy, huh? So we have broke away from our team and we're going exploring. Uh, check it out, guys. Ooh, look at that. It's Lake Ontario. Here's the vineyards. Just cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Lawyer, what'd you think about those crackers? Oh my god, they're the best. <laughs> <laughs> those crackers ever. Laurie's starting to get a little tipsy because <laughs> she was going on and on about the crackers and how great the crackers are. <laughs> Did you do this to our basement? Yeah. <laughs> our whole basement should be just like this. This is, this is really what you think of when you think of a wine place. This is awesome. Wow. Alright, I'm so happy. So we're gonna do this? Yes, we're doing this to our basement. <laughs> okay. Does anybody want to do a picture in this room, guys? Have a great day. Everybody smile and see what you guys want. As you're taking it. Well, it's really <laughs> That's just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, although we're having a great time in this wine tasting and Lori is having an absolute blast, I don't want anyone to think that I condone drinking. As a matter of fact, I don't really drink. I'm, I'm not drunk. I've literally, today, I don't even have the slightest of a buzz because I've taken a couple sips of, so I'm not against drinking, I just don't really, I personally don't like to get drunk and don't like to drink. So I don't want you guys to think that, you, you know, I'm condoning, it's the best way to have fun. I just, we're just having a good time today, so I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, I'm not trying to encourage anyone to, to be a drunk. Make sense? Now we're in a little town called Niagara by the Lake, which is just a kind of cool little touristy town that we're going to check out for the next hour and a half or so. Uh, a bunch of cool shops here. Lori decided that the best thing we could do on our break from the wine tour is to come into a wine shop so she could do some wine tasting. Salted caramel? I think she has a problem. I just have a speech impediment. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think? It's nice. Look at this. Whew. Yeah. yeah. What do you think, Lori? Yeah, you look nice. <laughs> 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 That's a little too much. Back to the wine tasting. <laughs> Look at the size of these barrels, these wine barrels. Holy moly. This is mo amazing. <laughs> I'm in love. <laughs> Lori wants this full of wine. <laughs> These are mammoth. These are crazy. And so the story goes is that this winery had a sister company in Germany and they were supposed to send them a shipment of just normal wine barrels and maybe the Germans thought it was a funny joke. They sent them these barrels instead. So now they just have them here on display. But pretty interesting. All right, so the wine tour is officially over. Lori drank her three or four bottles of wine intake. And a stomach virus. I feel just completely fine. I did have a couple <laughs> sips more than I probably wanted to, but I don't feel bad. Regardless, we are back at the falls. You can see over here. And we're just gonna do a little bit more exploring because it's still only about five o'clock in the afternoon. Is that evening or is it afternoon? The evening, the evening, five o'clock in the evening. Take a look at the rainbow, guys. Now that it's beautiful outside, it's even more awesome. One of the things that me and Lori have done ever since we were together, I mean, literally since we were teenagers, is when we travel, we just kind of wander around. I mean, you know, we don't plan a lot. We just kind of do things. And, and I think that some of our best adventures have come when 
we just kind of look around and try to find something cool. So we are literally just walking down the way trying to figure out something cool. So uh, I think that there's a street down here that'll take us down kind of by the river. Then we can walk all the way along the river and uh, and get back to the falls. But who knows what we'll come across, you know what I mean? You know, the thing is, guys, is that, you know, we work so hard all the time that you have to somehow carve out time in your life to just enjoy yourself, you know? And today was awesome, right? Yeah, I had a great time. I know, Lori had a really good time. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good. And this is just a, this is exactly what we need. And, and I encourage you guys to do the same thing, even if it's just a small adventure. You know, take a long walk in the woods near your house or whatever the case is. It really does brighten your soul. So, anyways, let's see what adventure we can find. We made our way down. And we're actually, remember earlier I showed you that there's the Horseshoe Falls and then there's the, the American Strait Falls? Well, these are the Strait Falls over here. to go on a horse carriage ride. Have we ever been on a horse carriage ride? No, we haven't. This is the first time we've ever been on a carriage ride together, so this is gonna be pretty fun. Here's our horses, and uh, I don't know, seems like a pretty cool thing to do, so <laughs> <laughs> away we go. <laughs> ah, all right, horse carriage ride. <laughs> <It's so fun. laughs> Good job, bud. Thanks for the ride. <laughs> Thank you for the ride, buddy. <laughs> oh, look at Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. <laughs> Oh, that was super fun. I know, wasn't that cool? Yeah. I can't believe we've never done that before. I tell you what, I highly suggest if you ever get an opportunity to do a carriage ride, it's pretty awesome. So, all right, let's head to the park. All right, we're back at the hotel just for a quick rest up and then we're gonna head back out and maybe go check out the falls at night just to see you know what they look like because they, they use these really cool lights to light them up. So we'll see what happens. But but regardless, you know, one of the things I wanted to talk about is the fact that, you know, I think that life experiences are really so valuable. I mean, to go and just do things and have those experiences. To me, you know, I'm not against owning things and having material things, although that's not really what matters to me. But I think that personally, you know, experiences are way more valuable than possessions. So, you know, like this adventure that me and Lori are having, will be something that we'll carry with us in our entire life. We'll look back and go, oh, remember the first time we went to Niagara Falls together and we had such a great time? Whereas if you spend that money on something material, it's gonna eventually go away. You know, you buy a car, it's gonna eventually not be any good or whatever the case may be. So what I'm trying to say is that for me personally, I think that, I think that people should spend money on experiences and that's going to make you a much richer person than having a bunch of stuff around. But that's just me. So anyways, taking a quick break and then we'll see what else we get into. To end out the day, you know, they light up the falls that night, which makes them really beautiful. So Lori and I just thought, hey, let's just come down here and not only us experience it, but also let you guys experience how cool it is to see the falls all lit up. So uh, it's pretty epic to say the least. I mean, take a look at this, guys. Completely different feel at night with them lit up like this as it is in the daytime. 
it. So I'm so happy that we made the trip back. You know, it's about a 20 minute walk to get there and back. So worth it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this as well. I mean, this is freaking awesome. Okay guys, so I'm back at the hotel. It's been a really long day, but we've had a really good time, so we're gonna end the vlog right now. Again, I just think it's been a really amazing time to get away, kind of recharge, do some amazing things. Niagara Falls is definitely a crazy cool spot, and I hope that this vlog kind of brought that to you guys. I mean, I sure hope so. Tomorrow morning, we're just gonna do a real quick kind of tour underneath the falls really quick. You know, spend an hour or something like that. And then we're gonna head back home and tomorrow night, I'll be back at the shop, so I'll show you guys some animals tomorrow night. Regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed today, and I hope that this inspires you to maybe venture out and just kinda see the things around you, or if you can travel to do it, because trust me, the experience is so worth it. You guys have an amazing day, and thank you so much for all of your support. Do me a favor and smash that like button if you like this video, and hit the notification bell. That way you know that I'm uploading videos. Make sure to be kind to somebody, and I promise I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.